Hi Pam, it's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia coming to you with a pour on this nice oval canvas um, it's a Montmartre canvas and also to show you uh, the lovely Molly from Molly's Artistry sent me these canvas stands um, to use and I was always having trouble with this uh, shape canvas as to how to um, yeah I mean I can put it on a cake stand or or hit my other things underneath it but this was perfect because it just keeps it really sturdy on there so obviously thank you so much Molly from Molly's Artistry so um, I'm sure Molly um, has the link and sells these on her page so they're quite sturdy legs to put underneath your canvas so great idea they've also got some little pinholes so if you actually wanted to push a pin through them to keep them sturdy which is great so I've got a nice dirty surface surface to pour on well the other day I did a pour and the colors everybody seemed to really really like this particular pour it's dried absolutely beautiful got a little fly that dried in it never mind mixed media so I, I will be giving this a nice coat of varnish to seal it and um, it's it's being gifted to a family member so really really happy with how that turned out so somebody asked me if I could do the similar colors um, but with navy instead of the phalo blue that was right yeah so I'm going to try similar colors on this canvas and um, see how we go but very very happy with that one very happy so wish me luck wish me luck um, maybe I should do a different kind of I think that I may just actually um, go around the very edge with my uh, posy of colors and leave the center um, negative space <laughs> if you yeah I'm not good at negative space but I'm certainly going to try so this was white and I mixed the uh, a little bit of deep sea a dark sea I mixed a little bit of that in it so and with my pouring medium the recipe is in the drop down box underneath this video so this time I'm going to try to keep the, the uh, negative space through the center and I'm going to fill up the outside space with some um, embellishment and just try these colors that I've been asked to try so so I'm just probably a bit too much paint but for the center but never mind it seemed to dry nice and flat on my other piece of art so you don't have to be perfect unless you have got OCD CDC whatever you call it um, but that is beautiful color it's really nice I like it maybe I should push it out a bit further now because it's a bit thick maybe I should push it right out yes I'm gonna push it right out because it is I've put too much on and it might if I sit it that thick in the center it might just ruin the rest of the painting so I will try it and I'm christening Molly's stands Molly's artistry stands because I'm gonna get the paint over them but I do know I can put them straight in my bowl of um, water when I've finished and they will just come up the same as new again because they're that nice sort of plasticky that you can wash I don't think they're done on a 3d printing machine I don't believe so so if Molly if you could possibly um, advise me <laughs> I'm not sure because I'm sure people will ask but there you go that didn't require much paint for that particular piece in the center there so that's that is a lovely sort of pepperminty fresh pepperminty color now I am going to put some of the actual 
what is it? Dark Sea. Love that colour because I can make so many other colours with it as well. So I'm going to just kind of wiggle around my edges. So I have got a nice big canvas that I'm going to try a style similar on for my own home. So that's the dark sea. Now this was the PBO um, green, iridescent green um, that I used so previously and I'm going to try that one again so give it this has got such a nice sheen in it it's really beautiful so the green lovers out there which is not me <laughs> Um, even though if a piece turns out beautiful, of course, I still like it just the same. It's just that I'm not a green colour person. I like looking at it, but I don't have any furniture items, I don't think. I'll have to take a look now. So that's the PBO Iridescent, and that was mixed with the same pouring medium. Okie doke, I have then a Viridian Green. I'm going to put a little bit of that in. Oh, that's got a little bit of a gooby bit. Oh, there it is. Let me get rid of that. Okay, I will just use my lolly stick. Do the wiggle, 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 wiggles. Wiggle, 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 wiggles. All the way around. It's just a nice, easy, relaxing pastime. I find okie doke that's that so that there all my greens I have got a really bright fluoro green but should I or shouldn't I that's gone a bit thick because it's sat there for a few days I might just put a wiggle in there of the fluoro I can really see from here now that that iridescent green from PBO is really shining out of all of that. Now second last is the navy that I was asked to put in. It was navy. I made this one up out of um, phalo blue. Um, what did I have? Hang on. Phalo blue, a blob of black and a blob of very dark green. Makes this really nice rich navy colour which I love it oh I've gone a bit me wiggles I've gone a bit wigglier than I anticipated I've probably put like I normally do way too much paint on that now I don't know whether to add white in there maybe I should do to make it pop pop your socks so I'm gonna this is my white that I have pre-made up. It's the white Amsterdam uh, titanium white with Floetrol only. I just find that this gives really yummy lacy cells because I'm not going to swipe this one at all but I will be kind of blowing it out. So that navy is very dark. It looks almost like black. Oh, there you go. That's it. That is it. Simple, simple pimple. Um, I might whiz over with the magic wand, my wonder wand. Get rid of any air bubbles. I wonder if this will blow. It will, but it paint's too thick okie doke let's see I will use my just my it's just a stainless steel straw with a little silicone bit you can get these 
off the online site you can get them from cheapy shops they're a great little tool to have for your acrylic pouring for sure Beautiful. Lovely. I've got a little bit of negative space. So, <laughs> so far, so good. I am just going to do a teeny weeny little bit of softening with these little floaty bits out into the center. So you just enjoy this process if you have a go and just use it as a relaxing time because it's very relaxing. Oh, I think that's all we need there. Oh, on done a funny wobbler with that one okay that is beautiful really gorgeous but my navy looks like black it doesn't look like navy so the lady that asked me to do it with navy so sorry it looks like black or maybe I put a blob too much black in I still absolutely love these colours though. They're super duper, so I don't need a huge balloon. I think I need a mid size. Let me see. See, this is going to give too much of a bigger. And let's hope that I don't. Let's do it here. Who I think I definitely need to walk away. Yes, and come back. If you go away and leave your canvas, the paint will absorb into the canvas. It'll self level and it always gives a better balloon kiss. So I'll try it with a smaller balloon, see if I can get a good result with a small balloon. Because I do want to leave a lot of the colour. I don't, I like that I'm not swiping the colour. I'm going to walk away and come back to it but that is absolutely beautiful at the moment so I will be back okay here we go I've only actually left this one for about 10 minutes so I've just rolled off some of the paint because as normal I just put way too much paint on there but I am going to give this a go again. So just balloon kiss. Still taking off a fair bit of paint. Oh, there you go. That one's gorgeous. For whatever reason seem to be going down to the canvas which is not normally what happens when I balloon kiss but it is a problem that a lot of people have expressed to me so I'm not sure why this is particularly happening with this piece but I will just persist as I tell other people to do just keep working it working it just doing little balloon kisses you can do a few balloon rolls which is just this bizzo it's not adding the normal kind of structure that i get from a balloon kiss i have no idea why because i'm using paints that i had pre-mixed up for the previous pour which all worked beautifully but nevertheless, it is absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to bring the camera down to show you because I don't want to actually do any more. 
I know that will dry gorgeous so I'll just give it a whiz Izzy Wizzy let's get busy the colors are beautiful but the navy which was my navy turned out quite dark so I'll bring you down so here we go it is just gorgeous the colors are really oh sorry about the glare I'm getting the glare off my overhead lights so but the colors are beautiful that's the whole piece it is beautiful oh see that fly oh my goodness shoe fly I have to cover it with my fly net but look at some of these colors like it looks like I've got gold in there but I haven't and I that is the results of the uh, iridescent green by the PBO one but as you can see the structures of my kisses are not what I normally get so maybe it was just mixing the paint I don't know because I've done that before and got lovely results but it will be absolutely fine it will dry beautifully I have full confidence she said with the fingers crossed behind her back so I'm really wishing you guys all the best you sweet people please take care of yourselves be kind to each other and don't remember don't forget if you need to call anybody because you're feeling sad lonely or whatever call a friend or a family member or hop on the site and watch videos okie doke take care and um see you tomorrow put a video out every day so until tomorrow bye for now